this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince with a PC. This video is for educational purposes only. Today's fix is being brought to you by myself and the rest of my team, also known as Fix Enhancers. The fix will include higher resolution support, higher aspect ratio support, custom frame rate, custom field of view, window mode, and also a frame rate counter. So you can install this game via the disc normally with no issues whatsoever, and you could also play it normally on Windows without any issues, usually for the most part. However, I need to make it very clear that our fix will only work with the no CD version. For legal reasons, I cannot direct you or provide you with this. This is down to the end user to deal with themselves. Something I need to quickly go over before we get into the fix is relating to our fixes going forwards. So some browsers and antivirus softwares might potentially flag up our fixes. Now to explain in an English way why this might happen, this is due to the fact that our fixes use something called hooks. What we do is we hook inside of the exe files for the games and then we can change the code inside of them. This is effectively how we're able to change the code inside of the exe file which then works inside of our dol file to allow you to use custom settings within the game. Of course the normal average user is not supposed to be using hooks within windows and this is why some antivirus softwares and browsers can get a little touchy about this. There is nothing actually wrong with any of these fixes, these are all just false flags. Before you can use our fix you will need to have booted up the game at least once and either go to a new game or a continue game and go down to options and then the video options and then once you're inside the video options make sure you change your resolution down to 640 by 480. Once this is done you can then save and quit the game. If you come to the first link down in the description of the pinned comment it will take you to this website here. This is github, this is where we host all of our fixes going forwards and this is the fix for Half Blood Prince. Simply come down to this first file here which is a zip file, click it and then save it onto your PC somewhere. So once you've downloaded the HB6 fix from github, find where you've saved the file. So I put it here on my desktop just to make this easier to showcase. So here it is here, the HB6 fix. So inside this folder I've got the zip file which is the file you would have downloaded from the github. Simply right click it and then click extract all. Once you've done this it will then create another folder over here. Once you go inside of that folder you will see it will have four files. It will have a D3D9 DOL file, a D3D9 INI file, an FBS DOL file and a readme file. The readme file just goes over all the bits about the fix and what we've done etc. So if you wish to read that feel free. The files that we're interested in are these three files here. So all you need to do with these three files is simply either do a control C and a control V into your Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince install location or you can drag and drop them in there. Once you do that it will then look something like this. We now want to open up the d3d9.ini file in order to edit our settings. So when you open up the INI file it will look like this. I'm going to now go through each option one by one. So the first option FPS limit so this is the desired frame rate within the game that you wish to set the frame rate to. Just to warn everyone we've set a cap of 280 on this fix because if you go above 200 180 on this game it breaks quite severely in places in my case i play the game at 120 frames so i've written 120 over here on the left hand side next option is the fps limit mode so you can either put a one or a two over here i'm going to suggest everyone leaves it at two next option is display fps counter so this displays an fps counter in the top left hand corner of the screen if you wish to have an fps counter turned on while you play the game then you simply change that zero to a one next option force window mode so this obviously allows you to use window mode while playing the game so if you wish to play the game in window mode then you would simply change that 0 to a 1. Underneath this you've got all the force window mode options so if you were a user that selected window mode and you want to change the window mode settings to whatever you wish to use then you can use all these options down here in the force window section. I will leave you users to figure out what you wish to do with your window mode. Next option is the full screen resolution so this is of course the full screen resolution of the game so you will want to choose whatever resolution you wish to use. You can choose from all the resolutions on the right hand side and each resolution resolution has a number that you need to input over on the left hand side. So in my case I'm playing at 4k which is 3840 by 2160 which is the number 4. So I put the number 4 over on the left hand side. Next option is full screen aspect ratio. For most users you won't even need to edit this as the game is defaulted to 16 by 9 which is what most users are going to be using while playing the game so you can always leave this on 0. However if you wish to use a higher aspect ratio, aspect ratio actually has two areas within this game. So I'm going to start off with full screen aspect ratio fix. So over here on the right hand side you can see all the different aspect ratios that we supported within the game. Now for the top option we of course start off with 16 by 10 and go all the way up to 32 by 10. So for this you will have the options of putting in the number 1 to 4. 1 of course being 16 by 10 and 4 being 32 by 10. So whichever aspect ratio you wish to use here you will put in one of those numbers over on the left hand side. When coming down to the second aspect ratio fix so this this aspect
aspect ratio area is only a problem for aspect ratios above 16 by 10 meaning that this second option here is only relevant for people that are above 16 by 10 so just to go over an example here 32 by 10 in this second area for aspect ratio is labeled number five however it is actually going to be set to number four in the box above so what you're going to be doing here is setting the above box which is aspect ratio fixed under number four and then you would be setting this below box to the number five likewise you can probably figure out from me explaining that what all the other aspect ratios are going to be and then the final option here is field of view so this is where you can change your field of view that you wish to play the game at by default the game uses a field of view of 57 i recommend if you're going to go up to a higher field of view you go up to 60 65 tends to be reasonably okay as well i don't recommend that you go too high in this game because of course if you go really high then you're going to start clipping through walls and seeing things you're not supposed to see normally off the side of the screen so i'm going to recommend that people either stick with 60 or or go up to 65 usually max if you do not wish to have any custom field of view and you just wish to use the normal field of view with the game then you just simply change the field of view area over to a zero instead of any other number once you put in all the settings you wish to use you simply need to either press ctrl s on your keyboard or alternatively you can come up to the top here and click file and then save so now that you put all your settings inside of the iron i file if you were to go and boot up the game you should notice that all the settings that you put into that iron i file will now be present within the game and the last thing I I want to cover inside of this tutorial is a new system that we're putting in for all of our fixes going forward which is fix forms so if you come to the link down in the description it will take you to this website here this is basically our form where we leave this here for you guys to give us feedback on our fixes so any feedback that you have regarding the fix at all any bugs encountered etc then you can leave them here and submit it to us and then it means we can easily collect all this data in one place so if you do fill out a feedback form for us it will help us out a lot and that's all there is to this video i hope you guys found it useful if you need a another PC fix guide then I'll have links to my other guides down in the description in the pinned comments so you can go check those out if you wish. If you have any questions at all regarding the fix then please leave them down in the comments section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you all in the next fix video very soon.